Black Book's Market Insights Report on new used and wholesale car pricing. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Homework Guide channel. If you've ever wondered how dealers and banks figure out what a car is actually worth, you're in for a treat. Today we're diving into the latest updates of Black Book's car pricing, the industry's go-to bookouts for vehicle valuations. Whether you're in the market for a new ride, planning to sell, or just love to stay informed, you'll want to keep watching. And by the way, we provide Black Book values on used cars for our members from the referrals package at $6.99 a month on up to the consults package where we have direct interaction with you at $49.99 a month. In this show, we'll break down the Black Book's reported price changes, explain what they mean to you, and share some insider tips to navigate the car buying or selling process like a pro. I'm your host, Kevin Hunt of The Homework Guy, and seated right over here is the amazing Elizabeth, the well-known master negotiator. <laughs> if you can keep up with Liz, friends, you're doing very well. Well, thanks, Kevin. And by the way, friends, the data we have to share with you today is having very real impacts on the market because for the first time in many months, the mortgage interest rates started to drop in what many see as an interest rate tipping point and an emerging change in car loan interest rates, too. So buckle up, friends, hit that like button, and let's get started on this journey through the numbers that drive the automotive world. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already for more insights right here where we steer you right. Let's roll, Kevin. With the UAW strike now fully in the rearview mirror, the overall car market finds itself in a state of correction, thankfully. Yeah. Particularly in the truck and SUV segments where declines for full-size vans and full-size trucks are reporting at record level single-week depreciation. While the drops may not seem big on their own, keep in mind that they are happening on a weekly basis right now, and with a little time, it can add up to very substantial drops. In general, a majority of the segments reporting declines exceeding 1%, and some even exceeding 2 or 3% in just one week. As I said, drops like this add up to serious money in a short period of time. On a volume-weighted basis, the overall car market decreased 1.13%, for reference, in the previous week, cars dropped by 0.57%. That's back-to-back -back weekly price drop since November 1st. The 0 to 2-year-old car segments were down 0.96%, and 8 to 16-year-old cars dropped 0.93%. All nine car segments decreased last week, with five of those segments reporting declines greater than 1%. So in all of this here, friends, you should be hearing that market adjustments are dead. Totally. The full-size car segment had the largest decline last week, dropping 1.82%. By comparison, last month, the average weekly decline for this segment was only 0.41%. Subcompact cars continue to have large depreciation, with the segment declining with 1.51% last week compared with 0.92% the week prior. That's a 2.43% drop in two weeks. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. The premium sporty car segment has had minimal decline since earlier this year. Sure. But last week, the rate of decline increased with the segment depreciating 0.52%. This compares with the average weekly depreciation rate of 0.15% over the last six weeks. Meanwhile, the volume-weighted overall truck segment decreased 1.73% compared to depreciation seen the prior week of 1.12%. That's almost 3% drop in just two weeks. The 0 to 2 year old models declined 1.34% on average, and the 8 to 16 year olds decreased by 2.23% on average. All 13 truck segments declined last week. 11 of the 13 segments had declines greater than 1%, and 4 exceeded 2%. The van segments had seen some of the largest declines since last week, with full size vans declining a massive 3.64%, wow. compared with the prior week's decline of 1.53% and compact vans dropping 2.24% versus the previous week's already large price drop of 2.01%. Full-size pickups also had a large decline last week, down 2.79%, the largest single-week decline on record for the segment with the Ford F-150 and Ram 1500 reporting the largest drops. By the way, friends, these kinds of price drops are triggering other changes in the market, and for the first time in many, many months, mortgage rates have dropped in what we think is a tipping point. Now with a look at Black Book's weekly wholesale index, this graph appearing on the screen looks at trends in wholesale prices of two to six year old vehicles indexed to the first week of the year. The index is computed, keeping the average age of the mix constant to identify market movements. You can see from the beginning of the year all the way through late May in week 21, prices were steadily going up, but then in June it began a slow decline. Then starting in week 31, late July, early August time frame, you can see a more significant and steady decline in wholesale prices. The truth is, 
that dealers have been able to buy their used cars steadily cheaper for some time now. In booking out cars for our members, I'm seeing evidence of this on a regular basis with dealers in multiple locations having pricing that's more in line within where the market is at right now. Moving on now to used retail prices. For Black Book, used retail prices are becoming more accessible than in the years past due to the steady increase of no haggle pricing type dealers for used vehicle retailing. Transparent pricing upfront makes the car buying process more enjoyable for customers and allows Black Book to more accurately measure retail market trends. For those of you that don't like the no haggle model, what I suggest doing is comparing their prices to other dealers near them and quite often you can find that a no haggle pricing dealer has a cheaper car. I've seen that many times. Sure. At the onset of the pandemic in calendar year 2020, used retail prices increased slightly following typical seasonal patterns and then began dropping in late April. But by late summer of calendar year 2020, used retail prices steadily increased as supply of new vehicle inventory started to become scarce. While this was happening, retail demand slowed down in the fourth quarter of calendar year 2020, resulting in declining retail asking prices for the last weeks of the year. But then along came calendar year 2021. When it kicked off, demand rebounded while retail prices lagged slightly behind wholesale prices. March of 2021 started the dramatic increases in used retail prices, effects we are still suffering from today. These rapid price increases were fueled by stimulus payments, tax season, and shortages of new inventory. Thank you, U.S. government. <clears throat> yeah. During the third quarter, retail prices continued to rise at a slower rate, but soon picked up their pace once again to start the fourth quarter. In Q4, to the dismay of many car buyers, prices on retail listings steadily increased week after week. As calendar year 2021 came to an end, the retail listing price index closed 36% above where the year began. That is huge. That put the nail in the coffin of car dreams for many car buyers. The index then remained slightly stagnant through most of calendar year 2022. In Q4 of 2022, the retail listings price index started to decline, but not anywhere near as steep as the wholesale price index declined. Now you might ask, if prices were dropping rapidly on the wholesale market, why didn't we see retail prices drop? Pretty simple. simple. Dealers assumed that car buyers would keep paying the outrageously high prices, so they kept them high. And guess what, friends? Either you or your neighbor kept paying those prices, and dealers smugly nodded knowingly that their gamble was right. Yep. When you pay ridiculous prices and you support dealers in your area with ridiculous prices, you contribute to the problem. If you keep complaining about high prices in your area without shopping over state lines with dealers who get it, you're part of the problem. If you wonder why prices in your area aren't dropping like we're reporting, I'd say you can thank your own lack of doing homework for that and too many ignorant car buying neighbors for that. When you shop outside dealers, do what many of our viewers are doing, getting back to their local dealers with much more attractive pricing and telling them they have to match it to earn their business. It's not that hard, friends. This analysis appearing on the screen by Black Book is based on approximately 2 million vehicles listed for sale on U.S. dealer lots. The graph looks at two to six year old vehicles and everything on this chart is a reflection of where 2019 was at because 2019 more or less represents the baseline at 1.0. The index is computed keeping the average age of the mix constant to identify market movements. The used retail active listing volume index at the end of week 45 this year sat at 1.05 points. This recent week, it dropped even lower, down to 0.99. When compared to 2021, you see prices were 30% higher at this same time, and even the fourth quarter of 2020 was 10% higher than the previous year. So what's going on in the wholesale markets right now, Kevin? The wholesale market continues to decline with full-size trucks and full-size cars, seeing some very large drops. Sellers are now lowering their floors in anticipation of prices falling even further. With the price drops, auction conversion rates increased 3% compared to the prior week, so more dealers are buying at lower prices. Yes. All indicators suggest that we are in store for more declining prices in the coming weeks, and we should be seeing regular evidence of it in advertised car prices. As always, Black Book has their team of analysts focused on the market, watching for developing trends and gathering insights, and we will continue to bring that information as it's reported to us. Friends, if you feel you lack the skills to take advantage of these price drops and you need help finding and purchasing a vehicle that's right for you, just join our channel as a member today and get direct help and involvement from me and Kevin. We don't want you to get burned and we promise with our help you won't. It's extremely easy to join. Just hit the little join button right below this video and select the package that's right for you. If you have trouble finding how to join, just send me a text at 701-441-3399 and I'll send you back a link. 
For the direct help you need, get the Homework Guy Help Package for $24.99, which offers direct email contact with us. You can also ask us unlimited questions via email, which is a special members only email. The next option is the Homework Guy Consults Package at $49.99. You should also know that you can start out at the consults level and then drop back to a lower package after you buy your vehicle if you'd like to continue to support what we do. This consults package gives regular text message contact with both me and Kevin, and you'll get direct contact with Kevin's personal cell phone. Don't be surprised if Kevin calls you to discuss your car buying plans directly. Also, any membership level can be canceled or downgraded at any time, so there's no risk and limited expense for you. I have already posted my personal cell number in the members only section of our community page, and yes, that is my personal cell number, members. I'd like to get a text message from any member at any level so I can personally welcome you aboard. And although it's not listed as a benefit in any of the packages, I have been personally calling several members already. As many of the members have said, the value of the membership was well worth it with just one phone call. Also, as an extra incentive for the first 50 members to sign up, we are rapidly approaching that yep. number, friends. You will get a free copy of our Car Buyer's Manual when it comes out. That's true for any package as long as you're still a member at the time the book is published. It's likely to be around Christmas or shortly after and we are making serious headway on it. Today's show was an example of some of the high quality content you'll find in our book, Designed for Car Buyers. Be aware that becoming a member is simple. Just hit that join button down below the video to sign up today, and as Liz said, you can always text her and she'll send you the link. Again, that contact number is 701-441-3399. I also want to remind our regular viewers about all the free content we have on our website, thehomeworkguide.com, so make sure you give us a visit. We improve on that website regularly. Besides the website, you can also connect with us on other social media sites. So go like our page if you haven't done that already. If you've just recently joined the Homework Guy channel as a subscriber, we thank you, appreciate you, and welcome you aboard. And if you just became a new member on our channel, we've enjoyed working with you, and thank you for putting your trust in us. Also, thanks again to our many faithful followers who just keep coming back. And to all of our longtime subscribers out there, you guys rock, and you know you do. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off with Amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. The Homework Guy team is serving truth, justice, and transparency in the car business and always will. We've we got to go. go. Got to go get some bacon. <laughs>